Well, hello YouTube and welcome to another art haul video on my channel. Settle in and grab something warm to drink because I'm going to get started unboxing this pile straight away. Well, thank you so much for staying with me. I have, um, yeah, I, I have an April art haul to share with you. Um, I have a stack of packages in front of me that have quickly accumulated, and I'm going to share with you what I got and why I got it. Um, so I'm going to move these off camera just a little bit so I have some room. And we will start out with um, package number one. So uh, package number one comes from Amazon, and I got this uh, small little sketchbook here. Um, make sure I'm in frame. Okay. So this sketchbook is called the Life N Noble Note Plain Notebook, and I actually have a larger uh, version of this sketchbook that I bought earlier this year and I haven't shared on my channel yet but I've really been enjoying the larger format of it and um, I so much so I decided to get a smaller one so um here we go so I saw this sketchbook on Sophie McPike's channel uh the larger one I have it here so I have the larger one here I was heavily influenced by Sophie McPike, and uh, I got one of these uh, sketchbooks and also an onion skin sketchbook. But anyhow, I've really been enjoying this Life Noble Plain sketchbook, and the the paper is different than like a normal um, like water. It's not watercolor paper; it's sketch paper. But I love how the mediums, different all mediums, behave on it. Here's um, an example. So this is uh, some, looks like some watercolor, some gouache, some colored pencil. And I absolutely love the way um, all mediums behave on it. Uh, it's, it's not watercolor paper, it's sketch paper. But I've been able to paint on it. I've been able to um, draw on it. Um, yeah, here's some portraits uh, that I did during a Zoom meeting. Um, this is Neo Color, um, and it's uh, here's some watercolor. Anyway, this isn't a sketchbook flip; it's a haul. Um, but anyway, I really like these uh, sketchbooks, and so I got a smaller one because I've been doing some plain air for plain April, plain April. And um, I've noticed that more than painting while I'm out, like I want to sketch while I'm out and about because now I'm out and about more, it's beautiful. And I want to do some sketching. So I wanted to get a smaller one that I can keep in my bag with some pencils so I can sketch while I'm out and about. So I'm really excited to have this uh, smaller format of the sketchbook. I'm really, really liking it. Uh, so that's sketchbook number one. Package number two, and I'm excited for this because this is, I have been wanting to try this notebook, or sketchbook rather, for so long. This is the famed Cotty sketchbook. And I've not tried one before. Um, this isn't the fat book. This is just, um, I don't know what book this is. But it's, it's a Cotty sketchbook, and I'm really excited to try it. Um, I, I like painting on cotton paper, um, and I am, I've heard good things about this these sketchbooks and about this paper, so I'm excited to try it. Um, I want to open it and see what it's like. Ah, but I don't want to tear the thing. I'm sure you all can relate. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This is lovely. So these Cotty papers, um, I don't know much about them. I think they're made in India. Don't quote me on that. Um, they're 100% cotton. And while the paper isn't like heavyweight, I heard that it's really nice to paint with. And look at the gray paper. Oh, I'm so excited. This is really nice. 
Um, oh, I cannot wait to paint on this. Yeah, it's got the deckled edges and it's 100% cotton. So this is a really nice um, watercolor sketchbook I can't wait to try. All right, so that's sketchbook number two. Are you seeing a theme here? All right, so here though, this is actually some Happy Mail. So this next package um, is actually an art swap from a fellow YouTuber. So this package comes from Art Alchemy. Um, I will link their channel in the description down below. Please check them out. So Art Alchemy, I will link her channel down below. Uh, she's got this series going on, which called I, I Bought It, Why Haven't I Used It? And she bought a really beautiful traveler's notebook and it had these inserts in it and she wasn't using the inserts. She really bought the traveler's notebook uh, so that she could... Uh, make a refillable watercolor journal out of it, which is brilliant. And on that video, she was like, hey, if anybody's interested, I'm not gonna be using these notebooks. So if you're interested, hit me up. And I offered to do an art swap and here we are. So I sent her some of my handmade paints and she sent me these uh, traveler's notebooks and art swap we have. So I'm really excited to take a look at these. So uh, she sent me these two. Um, there, there is a reason why we trip to Kyoto Traveler's Factory. Um, that's really cool. So this paper is actually like the Life Noble paper, actually. That's interesting. This feels like the same kind of paper or very similar paper as to the paper that's in this uh, Life Noble, um, which is made in Japan. No, this, this paper is a little bit different. Um, but this is similar paper to it. Um, so I'm really going to enjoy working in this. Uh, I knew I would because I've been enjoying working on this kind of paper in, in the other notebooks. Now this is green tea leaf paper, which is really interesting. Um, I'm, I'm excited to take a look at this. This looks beautiful. Um, premium quality made in Japan, of, of course, um, Traveler's Company. So this is like the actual real Traveler's Journal and this is gorgeous paper. Oh my gosh. It's smoother on one side than on the other. Oh, thank you so much Art Alchemy for these. And then she also sent me um, some work of hers. Um, here is some artwork that she did with beautiful gold. Um, she, there's a note on the back. I'm going to read it off camera. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love this. It's going up on my art wall. Um, this is this is absolutely stunning. This is going up on my art wall. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, a lot, actually. And uh, then she sent me some paper. This is, um, oh, Bao Hong Hot Press 100% Cotton Paper. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank, gosh, that's nice. That's a large piece too. Very cool, thank you. Thank you so much, Art Alchemy. I really appreciate it. And those stickers are gonna be going in uh, my journal. And yeah, I will definitely show a flip once I have these completed. So wow, thank you. Yeah, so here we are, more sketchbooks and some paint too. All right, I need a sip of tea. Incidentally, I'm drinking this really yummy, it's called um, Glazed Lemon Loaf Tea from Tazo Tea. It's delicious. Okay, next up, we actually have some art supplies. All right, so I recently went to Blick. There's a video on my channel. And when I was there, I picked up this evidence bag, a big pencil case for what's underneath it. I needed something to keep um, some pens. I knew I was getting some new pens and I needed a new pen bag. So that's what I got. But inside, I did pick up, while I was also at Blick, I picked up um, one of my favorite pencils, 
which is this Karen Dosh Fluo Pencil. Thank you, YouTube found this for me in the yellow. Oh, here, look, it's right here actually, because I'm using it. Um, so this is actually my favorite colored pencil. And while I was there at Blick, I picked up this one and pink. I, you know, so it's been in this evidence bag and here I have some actual art supplies that I got to put in it. Um, so these are Sharpie Creative Markers and they're brush tips and they are water-based acrylic markers and they're new. They just came out. I'm really, really excited to try them. I'm not really into pen, like um, art markers that much. I mean, I have like the Artex ones and I also have some Poscas um, and I, I like them. I do enjoy using them, but this like past six months, maybe four months, I've been really getting into mixed media. And um, so I also do a lot of art journaling. So I'm really excited to try these out with the, they, they, have them they came out with brush tips and then also with bullet tips I just got the brush tip set and we'll see you know what they're like I did get the larger set though of 12 so I I, I kind of want to test these out and we'll see but I've got some sketchbooks to open up uh first so I have a lot to unbox so I'll, um yeah all right oh I do have uh, I think this is some paint too Yes, it is. Wow. This is much bigger than I thought it would be, y'all. This is much bigger than I thought it would be. So I, and now that I see this, I might go back and get the other ones. So I saw this on Amazon and they were $11.99 for this set of six. So $2 a pan. But I had this range of silver looks really cool. And, um, you know, it's got some cool and some warm and I'm really interested in this um, because I actually have a, a, a palette that I think this will go well with. So of watercolors. And then they also had one that I think was uh, like six shades of gold. And then I think they had like a rainbow one. I'm really curious now to check them out because I'll tell you something in person, just in the pan, they look really nice. And the um, the reviews were good on them on Amazon. Um, and I thought they kind of looked like eyeshadow pans. Do you know, just because of the, the shape is, uh, I don't know, is that square? Now I'm just really curious. I really want to open them and find out. But anyway, um, they're large and they're interesting looking um, and I can't wait to try them out. So yeah, and then I think this is just some paper. Um, it's just, you know, that time of year where I have been, you know, I finished up, or I'm finishing up so many sketchbooks and so many pads of paper. I have more paper on the way um, because I'm just out, I'm out. I haven't bought paper in like a year. Um, you know, I, I just, yeah, I haven't. So, um, I bought another pad of the Canson watercolor, you know, that came, I was kind of like trying to get away from it, but I, I missed my pad. I, and so, yeah, I think it's, it's just kind of a staple in my studio. And, um, yeah, I typically buy a few pads a year. Um, it's 30 sheets. Is it, am I in frame? It's 30 sheets. Yeah. So for like, you know, nine bucks for 30 sheets, um, you know, you, I, I don't know, can't really beat it. I'll tell you though, like I have been going through a lot of Strathmore. Um, I bought a lot of Strathmore sketchbooks last year. I went through like this, I don't know, Strathmore phase where I went through like, I don't know, three or four of those visual journals. And then I, have gone through a couple of their large mixed media sketchbooks, which are really enjoyed by the way. And, um, yeah, about halfway through that watercolor journal I got. Um, and so now I want to try, yeah, some different sketchbooks, some different stuff and see what's what I hadn't replaced my Canson pad right away. Um, but I really missed it. And so, um, yeah, bought another Canson pad. All right. And then last, 
but certainly not least, we've got what's in this really big box, and I'm really excited what's in this big box. This is a sketchbook that was on my saved for later list for quite some time. Um, it, I kinda, I don't know why, I hemmed and hawed about this, but I did, um, because it is not a watercolor sketchbook. It is a different kind of sketchbook, and um, because I'm trying different kinds of media, mixed media, I decided to get a mixed media sketch pad. And it came in a really large box. So this, I do wanna open it and see what it looks like. So this is the Ohuhu mixed media uh, pad. I thought it was a book, we'll see. I think it's a book. Yeah, it's a book. It's a book. It's a book, and it's a large book. Um, and I'm excited about it. Um, I'm also excited because I have some new markers to try out on it. So look at this. This is this is this is not a skinny sketchbook. Um, it's mixed media paper. I want to open it. Wow. Okay, it's got like a textured cover on it. I thought it was going to be kind of like a, I don't know, a satiny kind of because it just the way it looked, but it, it's, I don't know, it's it's not. It's a hardcover journal and it's got kind of this different kind of texture. I don't know. It's different. Let's open it up and see. So this is, it's a mixed media journal and it's um, 200 GSM. 78 pages. A hoo hoo paper pad is various in size and texture. More surprises are on the way. So um, I don't know. We'll see how this is. The reviews on Amazon were good. Um, and they said that, oh, that's nice. Ooh, this is like, um, it feels, it's not plastic. It feels almost like, I mean, it is plastic, but it feels almost like silicone. It's got like a rubbery feel to it. Um, here's the sketchbook. Anyway, the reviews on Amazon were good. And they said, um, there were several that said uh, that they used watercolor on this without a problem. I mean, I you know, I doubt you could do heavy washes on it, but I will find out and let you all know. Yeah, it feels like mixed media paper. I mean, I've been doing just fine um, with this. I've, like I said, did... Uh, have gone through just about two, almost finished two of the um, mixed media journals from Strathmore. And I have no problem painting on that. And um, I mean, I don't do, you know, cover to cover washes, wet washes on it, but I really haven't had an issue with it. And I'm excited to try this paper out. And then this is really nice because it comes with like the silicone um, div yeah, backing sheet so that you can like, really do some marker work on it or something and it will protect the other sheet. Wow, so this thing was like $22, $23 or something like that. It was, you know, it wasn't outrageous. And for 78 sheets, and look, they're they're perforated. So um, they're perforated here. So if you really like your artwork, um, do something, you know, a masterpiece, you can take this out and frame it or sell it. Um, this is lovely. All right. All right. Well, first I want to see about my pencil. Just as expected. These, um, fluo pencils are just so nice. Um, they're soft and they're bright, and I'm sure they're not gonna come up, I mean, on, you know, video because they're fluorescent. Um, but this, I've talked about this yellow one on my channel before. Um, it's, it is, um, it's, it's different than your like average yellow fluorescent pencil. It's a little bit green leaning, but look how, how pretty that blends. You know, I just want all of them. They're not, you know, they're not inexpensive. I will tell you that. 
so pretty. I really like them. I use them a lot. Um, I use this one a lot anyhow in any event. Um, I've been using this one a lot to like highlight books and annotate books. I do a lot of reading and I like to annotate the books and highlight passages and things like that. And I use, uh, I really have been enjoying this pencil for that reason. Uh, it doesn't bleed through like with highlighters, right? Um, this has just been really nice because it highlights the text without bleeding through. So I just thought I'd share that. Now, um, I'm excited to try these uh, Sharpie Creative Markers. So um, these are supposed to be like, Um, I don't know if they're like a blend of like the Artex markers or I think Sharpie has made um, like paint markers before, but these are water-based acrylic paint markers from Sharpie and apparently they um, are not supposed to bleed. Well, I mean, they're just going to come out. So that's why, you know, the bag. That's the downside is the aerosol. No case, you know. Um, but this is no effect, paint effect, no bleed. So let's see. Let's see what these are about. Um, I don't think you have to prime them, but I think I heard that there's a ball inside. Yeah, there's a ball inside so you can shake them up. Um, but you are you don't need to prime them from what I understand. So this would be oh hello okay Ooh, these are nice. I am not like, you know, a letterer yet. I will be. I'll be able to play with these. Okay. All right. Hey, those are nice. Those are really lovely. It says that they, like, you can, um, they'll write on, uh, like, rocks and glass and all sorts of things. So, I wonder, you know, these will be really fun to play with. And, ooh, okay. So, these were, like, $20.00. For, um, so you got a green. Okay, I'm a little out of my rainbow order here, but whatever. Um, sorry about that, y'all. I got excited. I don't see names on these. They don't seem to be like needing pre-priming. Ooh, that's a pretty color. As is that one. All right, so this is a pretty decent range. Ooh, got a pink one. A blue one. And there is gray, which is nice. That's nice. That's a nice color range. And we've got a black. And then a white. I'm not going to put the white over that right there, but it came off a little bit, Ooh. but will it blend? Ooh, okay. Okay. That's nice. 
and it wipes right off. Okay. All right, Sharpie. Let's see. It didn't bleed. All right. Okay. All right. So that's the Sharpie Creative. What are they called? Sharpie Creative Markers. Sharpie Creative Markers. Those are fun. All right. Okay. All right. Sharpie Creative Markers. And then I am dying. To, I would like to see about this. I want to see about this. Okay. So I got some Stonehenge paper so we can test this out on, on the black too. It just, this is so glittery, you know? And it is. Wow. That is gorgeous. It is like disco ball glittery. Can you see that? Can you all see that? Wow. And I didn't like pre-wet or anything. That's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. These are really cool. Oh, look at that, y'all. All right, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Those are really nice. Well, that one is really nice anyway. Okay. So, there's the disco ball. And that's the pewter. Okay, <laughs> wow. This one is really so sparkly. All right. So I got this set, well, just because I was really intrigued by the range of silvers. But some time ago, I got the um, Kramer Pigments uh, sells a set of like a range of grays, and they're really, really pretty. Um, and I've really enjoyed painting with them. And I thought this would be just a very nice addition to that set. Um, and, and I think it will be. Um, I know it will be. Um, this is exactly what I was hoping for. And so much more than I was hoping for. I can't believe how big these pans are. Um, of uh, watercolor. I mean, they're definitely the largest that I have. I mean, I, well, I mean, I guess maybe the the Kiritake. Well, no, look, I have got a Kiritake one right here, actually. Here's a Kiritake one, just to give you an idea of size comparison, All right? So there's Kiritake, and these are, I thought these were gonna be like half the size. Y'all, I thought they were gonna be, like I saw that they were squares, so I thought they would be half the size, but they're not, they're, they're really big. Um, wow. I'm excited about this um, kind of warm silver here. So here's my Kramer palette. And you can see it's like this range of um, grays and whites. See? Isn't that pretty? And it's a really fun palette to play with. You see all these, you know, um, kind of warm whites. And I just thought that this would be just a really nice addition to my Kramer set, um, right? So um, I, I just could <laughs> see that in a moon painting and just went, oh yeah, I would really like that in my collection. Here we go. This is that, that warm white that I really wanted in my collection. And uh, yeah, happy to have it.
All right. It's almost like, um, yeah. It's just a, a warm, a warm, warm white shimmer. How pretty. I'm excited about these. And then this last one just seems to be kind of your basic pearl. Um, I'm trying to see if there's like anything kind of, yeah, this is a very nice pearl though. You know, it's, it's pearl. It's your white pearl. These are really nice. They re-wet, they're pigmented, they're super shiny. That one is just like seriously disco ball glitter. Look at how pretty that one is. Now I'm really curious about their golds. Um, you know, they have a range of golds as well and they're $11.99, so $2 a pan. Yeah, I'm really happy with those. I'm excited about these. I'm excited about my markers. I'm excited about my sketchbooks. Thank you so much for staying with me today. And thank you, Art Alchemy. Please go check out Art Alchemy's channel. Give her a follow. Um, subscribe to her channel. I really, really love her channel. Um, I have been a, a subscriber of hers for, wow, oh gosh, a long time. Um, I, like It feels like a year and a half since she started. Um, anyway, I really, I'm really a fan of her channel. Go check her out. Um, she's lots of fun. She's a really smart lady and she has a lot to offer. So check out her series. I bought it. Why haven't I used it? And uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for staying. Thank you for swatching. And until next time, everybody take good care. Bye.